Welcome back to week three. In week three, one of the things you are learning is how to create network diagrams. And you're learning how to create them by hand and in Microsoft Project. I've already shown you a simple Microsoft Project network diagram. Now I wanted to show you a little bit more complex uh, network diagram in Microsoft Project. And this is in the hopes that it will help you with your assignment this week, which is to um, insert predecessors and create a network diagram for your DEC project. So the project we're going to look at is a wedding project. And I already have in Microsoft Project a work breakdown structure entered for a, a wedding project. And to create the network diagram, we need to assign predecessors. So let's begin. And our first activity is decide on a date. And what's really important to remember is that we don't assign predecessors or durations um, for anything but work packages. And if you remember, work packages are the lowest level of our work breakdown structure. So if our task is bold, it's a summary activity and we don't insert a predecessor and the duration we don't insert either. It just is a, uh, it adds up uh, all the work packages durations. So let's start with decide on a date, a predecessor. So for a wedding, um, what needs to happen before we decide on a date? And really nothing needs to happen, so we're going to leave that blank. A marriage license, what do we need? Uh, for our marriage license before we get one. Uh, the big thing is um, deciding on the date. So we can put, let's see if it will let us put 1.1. 1 .1. No, it won't let us do it that way for some reason. But we can double click on marriage license. So it needs me to get rid of that. Double click on marriage license and we go to the predecessors tab and under task name we want to get decide on a date. So we'll click on that and click OK. And as you can see it puts activity 2 in uh, or task 2 in there. So um, there may be other things maybe you need to decide where you're getting married but we'll just leave it at that. So the next task is ceremony. We do not put a predecessor in here again because it's a summary activity. Our next uh, activity or task is rent the church. And what do we need to happen before we rent the church? Well, we definitely need to know the date. And maybe that's my problem. I should be putting in two here. And do we need anything else before we rent the church? Um, maybe, but uh, I think that's the most important one. So going down to the next work package is the florist. Uh, what do we need uh, before we can book the florist? So definitely, again, the date. We need to tell the florist when we'll need them. Um, and, uh, you know, we could leave it at that. But maybe we also need uh, the church rented. We need to, um, the florist usually delivers flowers. So maybe um, we'd have that as a predecessor to tell the florist. Create print programs is another activity, and what needs to happen before that? Again, definitely we need um, to know the date, because usually you put that on the programs. Um, and I don't know if there's anything else. You might want the location or the church or whatever on there. Um, so we can put that if we want. Hire a photographer. Um, again, we need to tell the photographer um, when we need them for. So we'll put it at 2. And I'm just going to leave that as the only predecessor that happens has to happen before we hire a photographer. Um, we maybe want the location, but uh, usually the photographer just needs to know when and mark that in their, in their date book. So the wedding ceremony. So what needs to happen uh, before the wedding ceremony? Um, well, we need a marriage license. We need the church rented, so that's activity five. We need the florist, we need the flowers there. Um, we need the programs printed, and we need the photographer there. So those are the activities we need to happen before the wedding ceremony happens. Now you may say, well, we also need uh, to decide on a date, but Deciding on a date is already a predecessor for those activities we chose as predecessors, so we don't have to put it twice. 
So guests, again, that's a summary activity, so we don't put anything there. Develop guest list. So what do we need? Um, well, to develop the guest list, um, really, I don't even know if you need anything, but let's just say you, you want a date. Order invitations. What do we need before we order invitations? Well, we need um, a guest list developed because we need to know how many invitations to invite or to order. Um, we need the church rented because we'll put that on the uh, invitations. And what else will we need? Well, we'll probably want the uh, reception hall reserved because we'll again, we'll probably put that on the invitations. Address and mail invitations. What needs? Well, we need the invitations ordered before we do that. So we'll put in 12. Track RSVPs. Well, again, we need the uh, um, invitations mailed. So again, you can either enter in 13 or we can click on this and go here and let's look for address and mail invitations. Okay, reception, again that's a summary activity so we don't put anything there. Reserve reception hall. So what needs to be done before we reserve the reception hall? Well we need a date. We need to know when we will uh, need it. Food and beverage, that's a summary activity. Choose caterer. What do we need uh, before we choose the caterer? Um, we'll probably want the reception hall book so we can tell them uh, and see if they're willing to go there. So that's activity 16. Um, and uh, we'd probably want uh, our um, date decided on, but again, that's a predecessor to activity 16. Decide on the menu. What do we need to, before we decide on the menu? Well, we need the caterer chosen so we know what they're providing. We make the final order. Well, we need, what do we need? We need to know how many to order for, so we need the RSVs tracked uh, before we do this. And we need to know what our menu is that we decide on. So we'll put 19. Hire the band. What do we need uh, before we hire the band? Well, we need the reception hall booked. Decorate the reception hall. So we, again, we need the reception hall booked. And then the wedding reception. So what do we need? We need, we won't have the wedding reception until the ceremony is complete, so activity nine. Um, what else would need to happen? Well, um, we need the food there, so our final order has to be placed. We need um, the band there. And we need the, ha the hall decorated, so 22. So everything has predecessors now. You may disagree and may, some things may be different, but that's okay. Um, this is what we have here now. So we've assigned all the predecessors. In this week you're also going to be putting in durations. I'm not going to change these. I've done no calculations, but you are to come up with estimates based on research and calculate using the most likely, most optimistic, and most pessimistic to come up with your durations to put in here. So what we want to do now is we want to, again, auto-schedule it, and it's just using the default durations of one day for all the activities. And we have that there. And so now let's take a look at our network diagram. So going over here, we click on Network Diagram. Here is our network diagram done in Microsoft Project. And if you're wondering what the different colors are, red denotes the critical path, which we'll be talking about more in the coming weeks. And hopefully that helps you uh, create your network diagram for your net project.